Yeah, hi everybody. I just wanted to show you a little setup uh, with the OPC and the OP1 with minimum cabling and uh, two pocket operators on one door. In this case, it's a MPC Live, but it could be also Ableton or some uh, Cubase or whatever master you use. Um, the MPC Live is sending MIDI clock case of the MPC Live, it's important that it's put it to master or it sends uh, double speed really wide out. out. And um, of course, for the pocket operator, I um, have two audio outputs. And through these audio outputs, I send um, trigger signals. And these trigger signals are like the sync for the pocket operator. So I can then decide on which part of the song I want to let the pocket operator play with the, the arrangement when I start this sync on the sequencer track and I have two outputs so I put the two different syncs I just go and start and of course you have to set your pocket operators on sync 2. In the OPC, my setting is a MIDI in, MIDI out, and sync out um, on channel 14. And I have uh, on my OP1 a setting with the external sync. So we should be safe and let's try and start it and see what happens. Yeah, and it's not a lot of cable, as I told you, just like uh, one sync cable for each. And um, the module is um, taking the sync, so giving it further to the OP1, something which was not working with older uh, firmwares, but the newest firmware for the OP1 and for the OPC makes this possible. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, or let's say the short setup to show you what you can set up with um, all the teenage engineering and some other door. See you, bye.